What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, so just one day after Apple releases iOS 16.1.2 to the public, we finally have our latest beta release in the form of iOS 16.2 beta 4. So usually when we're this far along the lines in a beta release, we're not expecting too many new features. We might find a couple of tweaks, but Again, one day after the more public beta went live, or public release went live, I should say, we have the latest beta build. Let's jump into it, see what we can find, if there's anything new, look at the build number, and get right into it. Again, full disclosure, I'm not anticipating finding too much here, but let's take a look. So the update just finished installing, let's jump back into it. And right off the bat, what I want to tell you guys, the animations on beta 4 here are much improved and much more smooth and seamless than they were before everything just actually feels like a final release candidate build uh, obviously this is not the rc but i do want to let you guys know the feel on this definitely seems polished so beyond that though jumping into settings general about we are running ios build 20 c 5058d and you can see it's letting you know beta version of iOS 16.2, blah, blah, blah. If you actually jump into the uh, developer notes here, you can see it is very short. The only item listed here is an issue with stage manager being resolved in iOS and iOS, um, excuse me, iOS and iPad OS 16.2 beta 4. While using stage manager with an external display, dragging a second window to the workspace incorrectly hides the recent apps list, shifting all windows in the workstation to the right. That's fixed. That's literally the only new update we have here. Everything else is in regards to beta three still. So more could be added. However, I'm doubting that will be the case. Pretty simple here and seamless. One thing obviously we'll keep our eye on as we have been doing with our new widget on the side here for usage is our screen on time and how well this battery holds up. We're almost at a full charge at 95% now. We'll be topping that off and seeing just how good it holds up. Beta 3 really helped out our battery, more on par with the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm hoping this will actually lock it right there with it. This is again with AOD active. We've never turned it off. We even haven't minimized it to just the black on white display either. So I'm very curious to see from a consistency standpoint how that works. Beyond all that, there's nothing else. We hopped around the settings for a little bit. Everything is just the same as it was prior. Obviously, iOS 16.2 is going to be a big release with that Freeform app. This should be releasing here in the next couple of weeks. I don't anticipate this being the final build. I don't think we're going to get iOS 16.2 stable in, I guess, on the 14th or 15th of next um, in December. But very shortly after that, and definitely before Christmas, I would expect to see that. So keep your eye out for it all. If you're really excited to get that Freeform app and all of that, along with the new live activities, consistent more uh, recent push notifications being available in this build. Keep an eye out. You should be good to go here in the near future. That's it, guys. Not going to ramble. There's nothing else new that we can find on here. If you find something, comment it down below and let us know. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.